Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So people ask me all the time, what is the best way for a beginner to get to your first 1000 clicks, 100 clicks, first dollar <laughs> to make SEO and blogging working for them? And in this tutorial, uh, we will not only tell you how to do it, I will share my personal opinion, my personal view on the matter, and I will be showing you an AI tool that I think is perfect for beginners. And the full disclaimer, I still use Agility Writer. I think this is the most complete tool ever, but it is on a more expensive side and you don't have to spend tons of money when you're just starting out. So zero to 100 clicks for a beginner. First off, let me expand that. Let me bust some myths that people have about blogging and SEO in general. So the first one goes like this. SEO takes a long time to get to my first results. And this is just not true. Let's uh, head over to Search Console and let's see how my programmatic SEO experiment is doing. So this is the site that I launched a few weeks ago. And for those of you who didn't watch the video, I, I published my latest batch of content on July 3rd and starting from July 4th, I started getting clicks. And this is a very competitive niche, but the keyword research that I used is uh, proving that the concept is uh, correct and there is no sandbox this is a fresh domain no backlinks nothing straight out of, of the box so i published it again and i have never shared the domain name of this website so the traffic is all 100 percent organic from search the second opinion that people hold is that blogging has become very competitive and i actually agree so let's turn this into red this is busted and I actually agree with this one. Everybody has access to the same tools, pretty much. You can pump up ridiculous amounts of content and you need to be very deliberate with what you're doing. So blogging is very competitive. It is way more competitive than it was like two years ago or one year ago. Then another opinion, a popular opinion, is stick to one niche till you know your ins and outs. And this may be a good advice if you're already a profi or an expert in a field and you just want to convert your professional expertise into the blogging sphere. And even then you need to be mindful of competition. But for a beginner, I think that running multiple sites at the same time, testing different niches is the best way to go. And if you're uncertain as to which niche to choose, you can go to my website, which is nichescout.pro. Uh, look at the hobby-based keywords and look at basically different ways of getting to profitable blogging niches, be it with programmatic SEO, be it with Amazon, ClickBank, expired domains, finding the profitable niches through hobbies, discover profitable niches through ad thrive disclaimers you can do that so there are multiple ways of finding great niches so i'm going back to this storyline i think that for a beginner it is best to run or start multiple websites publish a hundred uh, blog posts on each and then see what sticks seo is largely technical but you never know if your website is going to go up or down or sideways at least not in the beginning so by choosing five different unrelated niches and then starting them up very quickly you are doing yourself a big service because otherwise you will end up starting a website spending loads of money on content on plugins and whatnot and waiting for six months to see the first clicks and impressions and i have news flash for you if after six months you don't have any clicks and impressions it is very unlikely that you will so people talk about this hockey stick action after six months and i don't think this happens very often now how do we run multiple sites on a budget this is a big disclaimer please be mindful of that seo namely keyword research will always prevail over a writing tools. So no A writing tool, be it Agility Writer or any other A tool will help you recover from terrible keyword research. And the opposite is true. You can have the shittiest of the AI tools. And if you have done your keyword research correctly, you will see some traffic. Okay. Now there are certain criteria that this AI writing tool should meet in order for you to run multiple sites at the same time. It has to be cheap, so much cheaper than the current alternatives, cheaper than Agility Writer, cheaper than auto blogging even. It needs to allow for bulletical generation. It has to be very easy to set up, meaning that it has to have native WordPress integration and everything should be easy peasy. 
then you should be taking care of images because images are important for a couple of reasons aside from the aesthetics of it they will improve your bounce rate and the time spent on page and the one page <laughs> there is a typo on page seo and once you have generated a lot of content uh, came up with the correct or relevant images you need to do your own page seo meaning that you need to take care of the title tag of the url that has to match the keywords you have to have the correct alt text for your images you have to have your keyword in the meta description in the beginning of the content and all the bells and whistles and what if i told you there is a tool that can do all of this automatically and this tool is SEO writing. And before I go to the dashboards, you can go to another one of my websites, which is trickmenot.ai, go to recommended tools and discounts, and you will see that for SEO writing, we have a 30% off with the worst scale 30 coupon code. And this coupon code does not exist outside of our community. So no other YouTube channel or community will have access to this code. I actually did a review on SEO writing a few weeks ago and to this day, very satisfied with the product. One of the things that I need to tell you is that, and let's head back to our draft here. So let's just roll with it. When it comes to niches, uh, there are some things that SEO writing cannot do currently. So SEO writing is not factual, at least not as of now. So when choosing the niche, it has to be non-factual. And this is extremely important. And uh, actually with AI, you always want to target non-factual niches, subjective niches, niches like astrology, dreams, manifestation, relationships, for example. This is where you will get the most out of your AI. The biggest change has been the introduction of the bulk article generation. And so this is quite amazing. For a beginner, this is hands down the best AI writing tool that I've seen. So once you get to the bulk article generation, there are a few things you can do. You can import from Excel, and I won't be showing it in this tutorial, but uh, this is a very simple Excel sheet with three columns. So these three columns here, which is the main keyword title and keywords, and you can have up to 50 generations at once. Or you can do everything inside of this dashboard and look at this. So let's see our niche is relationships. My what to do if my wife shouts at me she doesn't but still shouts at me now we have a couple of choices you can generate the title and the lsi keywords but look at this beauty you can hit generate and the prompting the smart prompting inside of SEO writing will generate some adjacent keywords for you to target what to do if my wife shouts at me communication tips for couples understanding your spouse's emotions resolving conflicts in marriage so let's hit generate for the title and the beautiful thing that the keyword here will always be in the title so you don't have to redo anything so this keyword is what to do if my wife shouts at me and the title is managing conflict what to do if my wife shouts at me the keyword is communication tips for couples and the title is factual communication tips for couples build stronger bonds so this is amazing so we have 11 articles generated and now generate nlps and this is amazing so this, again, a smart prompt inside of SEO writing will generate relevant LSI keywords and they will already be included in the generation and you can insert your own. And this is extremely fast. So for bulk generation, this is very fast. And again, you can import from Excel, but the features do not stop here. So let's go to the core settings. We want the medium size, I think, because minimum is 24. 100 words, which is plenty. Tone of voice friendly, okay. Image generation. So, a couple of things. You can use, uh, since images cost money, you can have one featured image, and this is where you just press, uh, click after H1 only. But I will be doing the in each section because I want to show off uh, the uh, possibilities here and image style. Just so happens that I've had a lot of success with the um, cinematic. And look at that. If you click this, and this is clicked by default, include the main keyword in the first image as alt text, and all the relevant keywords will be picked up and added to the rest of the images. Meaning that if your main keyword is, once again, what to do if my wife shouts at me, this is this will be the alt text of the featured image. But things like what to do, like dealing with a shouting wife, will be an alt text for the second image. 
and this is amazing. Now the structure. So I usually leave everything as is. I do what FAQs, tables, H3s, lists, and quotes and italics. Uh, this is still GPT 3.5, so sometimes you will have missing sections, but all in all, the formatting is incredible. Now, publish to WordPress. All you need to do is install the plugin. Let's just. And you can download it from the website. And the plugin is called SEO Writing. And it's, extreme, it's extremely easy to activate. So you just basically press one button and it will connect the plugin to your dashboard and that's it, nothing else is needed. So the quality setup is GPT 3.5 and yes, they will have GPT 4 along the way, but uh, I don't think you will want GPT 4 when it comes to bulk generation because it's going to cost you a lot. And you can use your own API, API key. I will not be using my API key here. And publication. So since my plugin is already connected, I'm selecting my website. You have categories that you can choose. Let's say this is copywriting, even though it's not. Now you can post it as a draft. You can hit publish and it will publish it already. And you can even schedule it. So you can set up the frequency, five per day, per hour, per, per month. You can choose your start date. You can include the tags. So I will choose draft. And this is beautiful. You can make it so the URL, so the Slack, this thing here, is always your main keyword. And this is amazing. This saves so much time. And we'll click add the, the first image to the featured image. So again, everything is set up. So we have 11 articles and let's just hit run. You have this notification, 11 documents will be generated, posted to WordPress on wordsscale.com. And I will not be taking down these um, articles for a few days. So if you want to go to Words and Scale and check them out, be my guest. And let's hit continue. Okay, so we are back after 15 minutes. Let's uh, renew the page. And we can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven articles have been generated. Let's just head over to our WordPress. Oh, look at that. So all of these have been published to drafts. So the first one is this one here. Okay. So first off, let's check the rank math. And I, wow, <laughs> now look at that. I haven't done anything with rank math. So the keyword, which is, has already been pre-populated, -pre maintaining a healthy relationship. It's already in the SEO title. It's in the meta, it's in the URL. It appears in the first 10% of the content. It is in the content itself. The content is 2,500 words long. So let's look at the, what, and what about our featured image? Hang on. And this is our beautiful, beautiful featured image. So, wow, look at that. And look at the form and lists, quotes. Look at this picture here. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Well, wow, this is this is solid, guys. And the beauty of it is you don't have to do anything. Look at that. You don't have to do anything. So everything is has already been made for you. The FAQs, the lists, the images, the on-page SEO. What about the alt text? Let's check the alt text here. So let's uh, check the feature image first. This is the one. And see, so the alt text is already pre-populated. So wow. Oh my God, 71. So this is almost the perfect score. So to get a high score, you would need internal and external links. And this is in the pipeline. I can tell you that right now. S uh, same as the YouTube in bats. So this was the first article. Okay, let's check. Let's just open up a few more. This one here and this one here. I think this will be sufficient to prove the point. So this is unlock harmony with effective conflict resolution. And again, the rank math score is 75. Everything is in the green. Our featured image is here with the alt text. So look at that. Strategies for conflict resolution in the workplace. And wow, look at this. This is amazing. Oh my God, isn't it great? Look at that. Look at the quality of the images. Just look at that. Oh my God. It's amazing. And you have the tips, the lists, the FAQs. I'm really digging this software right now. 
So this is a new one. Look at the featured image, rank math. There is, so the on-page SEO is already done for you. Everything is in the green. Let's look at the article itself. Unlock the secrets to enhance in communication marriage. Uh, look at this picture here. Isn't it ma magical? Table. Another feature, another image, another table. Pro tip. Oh my god. And just look at the quality of the images. No distorted figures or faces or whatnot. So this is published ready material. Lists, tables, FAQs. Amazing, amazing. So guys, I cannot tell how excited I am for this program. It's incredible. It's amazing. This is the best AI writing tool for beginners. Again, for beginners. It has some limitations. So it doesn't have GPT-4. It's not factual. Uh, at least not currently. It's in the pipeline. But for testing subjective niches and running multiple websites in bulk, this is perfect. And again, we have an exclusive discount of 30%. Nobody else has it. So be my guest. Go to trickmenot.ai and enjoy this 30% discount. So hopefully this was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.